Hey guys, I'm Matthew Burt, and this right here is the Gray Rat Snake. All right, so I just caught this guy, and this is one of the most common, and my opinion, one of the most free snakes here in Florida, and they are also very common throughout the southeast. Now, when you go more up north, they actually turn to the black rat snake, which is kind of interesting because they both start out as babies, this gray kind of color, but the gray rat snake keeps this color for pretty much the rest of its life, and the black rat snake turns to pretty much just a solid black up north. Um, but down here, along with the gray rat snakes, more south in Florida, you get the yellow rat snake and the Everglades rat snake, which those are more kind of yellow and orange. But up here, this is mainly what you're gonna see. And these guys have more of like a blotched pattern. The yellow rat snake and some others have a striped. And the black rat snake normally doesn't have a pattern at all, it's just black. Now what's cool about these guys is they're constrictors, one of those powerful constrictors around. And like their name suggests, they mostly rodents, like rats and mice and little shrews, moles, stuff like that. But they're mainly arboreal, and they're one of the most best climbing snakes around. And that's mainly where you're going to find them, up in trees. And up there, they'll be hunting stuff, mainly birds. And they're also sometimes called chicken snakes, because they love to eat eggs. Like chicken eggs, but pretty much any other bird eggs. And when they get really big, because the record for these guys is like over six feet long, at least. But this is the normal size that you're going to see them, around like three and a half to four feet. But yeah, they can get that big. And when they do get to that size, they might even be able to eat stuff like adult squirrels, which is pretty crazy. Now, these guys, as you might have guessed, are non-venomous. They're mostly harmless, even though usually they will bite at first. Even though some are just completely chill, almost act just like a, uh, a pet. But a lot of times they are going to try to bite, like this guy when I found him up in a tree. He, at first, was pretty whippy and ready to whip around and bite me if I touched him. Uh, which is completely understandable, because that's these guys' best defense. And, you know, they're just trying to survive. They're not aggressive, they're just defensive and will bite if they need to. Because to him, I just look like a very, very big predator. And it's pretty intimidating to him. But with a lot of snakes, actually, once you've handled them, once you've touch them for a little bit, they will calm down after a while and end up like this, where I can just handle him freely. He's not trying to bite me really at all. Sometimes he will get kind of whippy, but he hasn't tried to bite me since, um, which is pretty cool. These guys are normally pretty relaxed, especially after just uh, several minutes of, of trying to handle them. Now these snakes, even though you can pretty much find them anywhere around here, they are very good at living around houses and stuff and climbing, hiding, eluding people. And because normally when people see a snake like this, they're going to try to kill it. And they normally are pretty relaxed, gentle snakes. And they don't normally try to get away. They're not very fast, something like a black racer, which can get out of your way very quick. A lot of times they would get killed if somebody wanted to. But yeah, these guys are very gentle. And the only reason they're probably around your house is because they're looking for rodents that are attracted around neighborhoods and stuff like that. Which is pretty good because it's free pest control for anybody who doesn't want stuff like that around their house. Even though they will eat birds, but they're doing mainly good things for the ecosystem. Now, when they do live around houses, the good thing is they get their food and they're able to avoid predators, obviously. There's not gonna be many stuff like that in unnatural areas. And when they're really small, they are vulnerable to a lot of predators like foxes, possums, uh, crows maybe even, pretty much anything. And then when they get to maybe about medium size, they do have less predators, even though some bigger stuff, maybe a bobcat, coyote might get them. But they're mostly up in the trees hiding, so they're pretty good avoiding stuff like that. And some, something that really likes to eat these guys is hawks. And these guys are pretty lanky snakes. They don't weigh that much, so a hawk might swoop down and grab them out of a tree. But what's pretty interesting about these guys is that when a hawk sometimes grabs them, they might have the chance to defend themselves. Since they are constrictors, they can use that to their defense. And in some cases, people have found these guys wrapped around hawks' necks, trying to choke them out while the hawk has its talons on the snake, which is pretty crazy. Um, normally, the people unwrap the snake from the hawk and they both escape alive. But yeah, these guys are 
pretty tough when they get to uh, adult size, especially when they're around five, six feet. They don't really have too many predators. Now, one of the main points that I want to make in this video is you do not need to kill these guys if you come across them. They're absolutely beautiful snakes. One of the most fascinating, most pretty creatures that you could find around here. And yeah, there's absolutely no need to kill them. They're very gentle. They're never going to bother you unless you bother them. And they're just doing their own thing. Even if they do hang around your house, they're just climbing up trees, hunting rodents, birds, stuff like that. And yeah, just completely mind their own business. And yeah, they are, in my opinion, they are kind of cute. They do have very uh, pretty eyes. They don't have those vertical pupils like some venom snakes do. They just have very inquisitive, they're very smart little snakes. And yeah, definitely not something to be afraid of. All right guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something new about the gray rat snake, one of my favorite snake species. And yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment on what you might want to see next in the video. And yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.